Welcome back to the Photography Show TV studio here. Joining us in our pop-up TV space is Brooke Shaker. Hello, how are you doing? Awesome, how are you doing? I'm very well and delighted that, that, that you're here to speak to us today. Um, I am, I'm fascinated by your work and I'm sure you yeah. hear that all of the time. Uh, and thank you so much for sharing your your view of your work, you know, your, your process, your journey uh, with everyone who's coming to the photography show today. Wow. Tell us a bit about what you will be sharing on the stage in a few minutes time. Oh my goodness. I have, I'm itching to share this talk. It, it's, it's like just bursting to get out. I'm talking about impact and why some people have it and breaking down not just the emotional barriers to getting to a place where we can impact the world, but the scientific barriers of like, how do we train our brain to get into the mind space of being able to embody our purpose and then put that out there into the world. So I'm super excited about it. Wow. Okay. Um there's a lot there that you're going to get through in your yes. <laughs> uh, hour and 15 or whatever it is. Um, your work, you said in one of your recent YouTube videos uh, that um, one of the, that there was a video, 50 answers that, that, that you gave to, to questions that you commonly get. You said that the, your biggest frustration with photography is that it isn't painting. Yes. Now that, that intrigued me and that got me thinking about the nature of your work because you have you have a vision, you have a voice that's very, very strong. And that currently, your expression of that vision, it's photography, it's fine art, it's fantasy, it's all sorts of things beginning with the letter F. Yeah. But I just wonder about any other ways that you would like to express that creative vision that maybe aren't so photography led. Right, and it's so weird to me that I'm a photographer because it just doesn't, make sense to me like as a medium i think a lot of people get into photography where you've got a camera you understand what it does you're experimenting you might shoot people and landscapes and animals and whatever and then you finally find your thing that fits and i just never went into it like that i went into it like i have this concept that i really want to create and i tried painting and i tried drawing and i tried all these things and photography just stuck like it yeah. just allowed me to make those things so when i say that i don't really like photography it's because i just like the ideas behind it yeah. and i feel like visually i may connect better with something else so yeah. for example the newest series that i made which i'm debuting here at the show actually i'm really excited is a mixed media series where it's photography as the base and then acrylic paint on top of that mm -hmm. dirt sand oh, feathers wow. hair You're like throwing everything at that, yes you? and so you know i think it, i feel like i'm just beginning my journey of what else there is outside of photography because you've You've spoken before about how you initially trained or looked at filmmaking yes. as, as the way that you might be able to express this creativity that you have, but it didn't quite do it for you. No. So instead you kind of turned the stills camera on yourself. Yeah. And that's when, you know, the, the journey that, you know, that that is yours, that, that you're sharing really kind of began. Right, which is totally from a place of social anxiety because I just don't like people. So like I want to be by myself all the time and so filmmaking is is just all people all the time yeah but photography i could be in my basement taking pictures of myself in my room editing and nobody's gonna tell me that's good that's bad well not until later obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know no one stops you in the middle of it and says i have a better idea it's just you with your thoughts and the great thing about that is that you learn so much about yourself so quickly in that process talk to me about other people and feedback then because you've also said that you you're happy to share your mistakes, that, that we yes. should share our creative yes. mistakes. So given what you said there about the solitude, the necessary solitude of your creative process, how do you then respond to people's opinions of your work? Well, I think that, that art and photography is 50% me making it and 50% giving it away to other people. Like, I think that's part of it. So I might create it by myself, but the purpose is to give it to somebody or else I wouldn't be making it in the first place, really. So for me, it's, it's very much a creative collaboration where I've made it, but now it belongs to you. So you can think whatever you want about it and that doesn't impact me. I'm already yeah. making my next piece, you know? <laughs> Um, your your work goes through what uh, I fa fairly clumsily call this this creative continuum from idea to manifestation, um, and I'm curious about 
whether you realise when one of your pieces of work is finished. You know, this, the, the, I guess this is a process question. Do you know it's finished when it matches how you saw it in your head when you embarked upon that on that piece, or does the creativity continue through the process of making it such that it might be something quite different to what you envisaged originally? Yeah, it's. It's about 95% knowing because I've already thought it through. Okay. So I am not a spontaneous person. I am not someone who's like, oh, maybe this is cool. Maybe this is good. Yep. No, like that stresses me out. I think first and then I create. Okay. So when I get to that finished product, it's, it's mostly, okay, this looks like how I wanted it to, but then there's that little essence of, oh my gosh, all of a sudden, I wish I lived in that photo. And like, there's just a moment where you just know, like, I wish I was there. And that's when I feel like it's done. So the, a real reflection on the finished piece of work and that even though you are in that photo, you are, you know, th yeah. these are self portraits, yeah. even though your face is hidden from many, many of your pictures, really. I, I find that fascinating. Um, we're almost out of time. Before we go, so much of your work has this dreamlike quality. You are making your dreams real right. in, in so many senses, but are there any dreams that you haven't yet been able to make come true for you? There, there, okay, there's like a big idea around this, which is the idea of impact, coming back to what I'm gonna be talking about. Mm -hmm. And I think that there are levels of impact that you achieve in your life. Like you have an idea of what you wanna do. Maybe for me it was photography, and I thought I wanna be a photographer. But then you start to realize, well, I don't actually wanna be a photographer. I wanna make an impact in the world through photography. Yep. And so my journey is very much about saying, I've discovered this medium, maybe it's photography, ceramics, painting, mixed media, whatever. Now, how can I make an even greater impact in the world? So for me, it's not so much like I want to take this picture, go to this place and do this thing. It's I want to make sure that everybody in the world understands that they can embrace their darkness or their lightness or whoever they are and that they know that they can create their own version of perfection from that. So like that's my goal is to just make the biggest impact possible. And you do help other people to make their impact as well and as well as your your own creative work you you put a lot of creative energy into helping other people to realize to uh, go on and go on a journey to help them realize their own execution of their vision of their, yeah. of their dreams which i find fascinating it's, my hope. <laughs> it's your hope well listen uh i i hope you have a terrific time here in I the will. uk for your short stay yes. thank you so much for joining thank us you. in the studio i so appreciate it and i hope to speak to you again soon me too thank you Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adaptalux. And I'm Sam, the company founder and product designer of the Adaptalux Studio. We're really excited to be back at the photography show, showing off our products and sharing our love for macro photography. Our product, the Adaptalux Studio, is an adaptable lighting system, which is ideal for macro, close-up and product photography. Sam and I will be on our stand running product demos, macro tutorials, and of course, we'll have our lighting available for you guys to take away today. You will also be amongst some of the first people to see our upcoming addition to the studio, Xenon Flash Arms. So come and visit us to get hands on with some creative lighting and to take advantage of our 15% show discount. We're just around the corner on stand J103, which is next to the video live stage. We're really looking forward to seeing you soon and we hope you have a great day.